Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. I have a platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while. Now we're going there to try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about the foods, the drinks, and the, the, the things, and the, there's saliva involved, you know, with, with the breaking down of the things. I mean, saliva can be involved with a lot of things, but specifically with the food things in this particular instance let's keep it pg-13 we can go with that right because i mean i'm gonna swear that's just gonna happen I, I enjoy cursing live with it folks live with it not trying to be family friendly what i am trying to do though is try out some foods and stuff well i got a peter can thunderbolt poster over there well i got a cool pac-man shirt on it's a hamster set up over there you might see a hamster hamsters don't care if i swear they're hamsters they're adorable anyway so anyway, folks, what am I trying for all of, for all y'all today? Well, uh, going off the last few videos I've done, I did some cream savers. I went over there. I did uh, some Twix tops. I did some uh, Kit Kat Golds. That's the last one I just did. Excuse me. Following on with my box of madness because I ordered all this stuff uh, from a company online. I went over there and they're like, weird snacks. And I'm like, that's the kind of shit that this show is built around. Boom! Doritos! Cool American flavor! I, I saw these and I had to get them because I'm, I'm American. This guy's American. What the hell is cool American flavor? I would imagine that these are probably just going to be cool ranch flavor. Is, is it one of those things where, like, has ranch dressing just become, like, shorthand for, like, America? Because I could see that being a thing. 100% I could see it being a thing. Because we love some ranch dressing here, folks. We really do. I do. I know some people are like, brr, I'm too cool for ranch dressing. You get your shit together, okay? What the hell's wrong with you? So I assume that, I mean, that looks like it's probably ranch dressing, right? Suppose it could be like frosting or something like that. Maybe it's frosted flavor. So yeah, I'm expecting these are probably just going to be ranch flavor, but it's like, well... I mean, I guess if they don't have like ranch over there as like a regular thing, then I guess it makes sense. It's American flavor. Unless they went over there and ground up, uh, you know, Americans and put them into some Doritos chips. This is from another country. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, it's maybe like German, uh, PepsiCo. Oh, uh, I guess it's the oh, the Netherlands. Okay, that's probably why. So I guess in the Netherlands, this is what Americans are represented by. Which realistically is perfectly fine. I, this It's not only fine, it's appropriate. Cool Ranch Doritos, if that's what these are, is exactly America. <laughs> that's Doritos. It's a very small bag. And you don't... Wow. I have complained about this. I haven't done it in a while, but I've complained in the past about how companies go over there and they shortchange us with chips in the bag. I guess it's good to see that uh, that's not exclusive to just the American market. Look at that. Seriously. I Here's a bag. Okay. Half of it is just air. God. The only thing I, I regret now is that I didn't go over there and get some uh, normal range Doritos to compare. But, uh, eh, you, you live and you learn. I mean, I could go over there and stop the video now. And I could go to the Speedway by my house and go get some. I could do that. Perhaps if I were a more professional brand, I would do that. But I am not. I'm not even a little bit. I have a Peter Kane Thunderbolt poster. Deal. I'm just coming off uh, some sort of sickness or allergies or some shit, so 
My sense of smell is a little bit. Mm. Let's try a Dorito. I would say mostly, yeah, it seems like it's it's a ranch Dorito, but it does taste somewhat different than like a standard ranch Dorito. It's got like a different ending to it. Yeah, it's similar, but I don't know, it, I don't know if it has this, the same level of flavor. Like, it feels more muted. Um, I mean, to be fair, that could just be, like I said, me working off the... Whatever the hell was wrong with me. I mean, I've been able to taste things pretty well recently. Huh. It's normally Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch Doritos, and they're going to kick you in the face with some Cool Ranch flavor. These, it's there. But it doesn't feel as prominent. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely there. It's it's definitely built off a of cold ranch Dorito. If it's not exactly the same recipe, um, it's definitely what it's working off of. I think it's a little bit different. Like I said, I think it's got a little bit of a different finish to the flavor. And it does feel a little bit more muted, though that could just be user error in this case. Um, yeah, I mean... Fucking cool ranch Dorito. Uh, would I recommend it? Well, okay. I mean, chances are you're not, you know, going to go over there and pick these up at a local store unless you just go get some cool ranch Doritos. Uh, would I recommend cool ranch Doritos? Sure, cool ranch Doritos are really good. They're like one of the two original Dorito flavors, so. By all means. Uh, but, I mean, I wouldn't import them or anything like I did. Um, or, well, I ordered mine. I don't know if I imported them exactly or whatever. But, there's not much of a novelty to them. They're kind of interesting, but really I just want some Cool Ranch Doritos. And you don't get a lot either, so, yeah. They're fine for what they are, but... For what they are, you can get better here in America. And if you're in the Netherlands, I would just say, if you enjoy these, just import some uh, some actual proper Cool Ranch ones, because I think those taste better. Personal opinion. But they're not bad. Alright, folks, that's going to do it for me. Good. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a spectacular rest of your day. Stupendous rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Amazing rest of your year. <laughs> You could go over there and have just a cool American rest of your life. Sure. Uh, that'd be pretty spiffy, I guess. Final two things for me, folks. You could try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. Sorry. Stuck in my teeth a little bit. Um, but what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Well, folks, try not to be an asshole. If you can't put the good stuff out there, just try not to take it away. 
try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. I think that's doable most of the time. Final things for me, folks. Final thing for me, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to come out with some radical Nigerian flavored Doritos. Or some stoic English flavored Doritos. Or we're going to leave it there because I don't want to go over there and tread on anybody's feet Doritos. Maybe that's what you'll do. Or maybe you'll go over there and you'll get a cat. Do that. Radical cat Doritos. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me. Bye. Yeah.